Hello, everybody. My name is Barry Johnson. Welcome back to another edition of Studio Talk. Avid's gone and done it again. They change up the name of everything, going 100% subscription, as I predicted with this video right here. Let's get to it. All right, all right, all right. Avid, why do you keep making the same mistakes over and over and over? All right. Like I said in the intro, I predicted that they were going 100% subscription right there. All right. Go back and watch that video. You'll see. It happened later than I had the inside scoop on, but regardless, it happened. Okay. And I was really hoping they'd change their mind. I was really hoping they'd change their mind. When I'd done a bunch of videos I had really complaining about their whole uh, subscription plan, or should I say extortion plan. Yeah, you want to get ripped off? Go jump on that average extortion plan and pay a ridiculous amount for what you're getting. First of all, Pro Tools is no longer the industry standard. It has not been for a very long time now, okay? They're trying to ride that wave, cruising on out, going for deeper waters, and they're going to get out there. And you know what that, you know what Avid's going to do? They're going to sink like the Titanic probably, okay? I don't want them to, but at this point, I have 100% made my decision to get the crap out of that ecosystem, all right? I got a carbon back over there going up for sale. Got a 24-channel D command back there going up for sale, okay? I'm just getting out of that ecosystem because I'm not going to continue to be ripped off paying extortion money and getting next to nothing for it. That has been your history. You rode through a while where things were progressively getting better, but they, they're not getting better at the cost to justify the cost. First of all, in most of your features, you're lagging behind everybody else, okay? And you have been for a long time, and I understand that's on purpose, because you've got to please the professional market. Well, that professional market has now dwindled, used to be huge. Well, now it's not. Studios are closing right and left all over the world. Only thing you've got going for you is post-production and the video side of things. So take that shit somewhere else. We don't want it. We don't want it at all, all right? You need to understand this, all right? I was hoping you'd do the right thing. I was hoping you'd come to your senses, but you didn't. You dug those deep heels right into that sand, and you're ready to go. Yeah, I live in Florida, sand, not dirt. Anyway, I'm kind of making some of these terminologies up as I go. I tend to do that because I got my own lingo going on sometimes. Hey, hey, hey. Anyway, <laughs> Anyway, I know I'm stupid. Just get over that. Okay. Not all my videos are like this, but this one is all right. I'm feeling pumped. Okay. I'm feeling pumped and celebrating my leaving Avid for good. I can't wait till I'm finally there. I probably got another month or two to go before I can get rid of everything and start replacing. I got my plan ready. I got everything mapped out how I'm going to do it, what I'm going to replace things with. Okay. Balancing out how much can I get for this? How much can I get for that? So I can buy this and I can buy that. All right. Try not to be out of pocket too much, but you can't help it. Okay. Cause some of this stuff is old. All right. Like me. <laughs> okay. So, so anyway, Avid, I don't understand why you're doing it. Now you got this whole renaming structure. You probably did that because of legal, uh, legal crap or something else like that. So you could finally get away from any implication of perpetual versus subscription. So if you've not heard the news, at the end of the day, Avid's there to rip you off at a monthly cost, okay? At a, at a monthly cost of which you can buy so many other DAWs so much cheaper and not have to pay anywhere near that cost and have a better DM, DM, DMV. Don't go to the DMV. You'll wait in line. DAW, okay? You'll have a better one, all right? There's just about everything out there is better than Pro Tools at this point, only because of the cost. If all things were equal, I actually enjoy Pro Tools. I, I like Avid products, all right? I feel comfortable in it. Fits like a glove, baby. Let's go play some baseball. Anyway, I'm just saying, all right, Avid, you're not going to listen. You've proven to me you have no intentions of paying any, 
any attention whatsoever to your customers. All you got to do is go back and read through the comments on my other Avid videos, which are easy to find on my YouTube channel, and they are bashing you right and left. You have no defenders out there. All you got to do is go to online forums, Facebook forums, anywhere you want to go. Nobody likes you anymore. You were like the popular kid in high school that got out of high school and turned into a worthless bum. All right, all right, the cool kids never get ahead. Those of us that work hard, we're the ones that get ahead in this world. Maybe not financially, but it feels good inside. All right, so I'm off my rant. If you like the things I talk about on this channel, I don't always do my rants, but I'm known for them sometimes. Look, this channel is all about holding companies accountable. I do this to fight for you. If you think about it, a guy sitting here with a YouTube channel that's alienating some of those some of the most major music vendors, music gear vendors on the freaking planet, and you think that's a strategy to build a successful YouTube channel? You're out of your mind. I really don't care. Yeah, I'd like you to subscribe only because I want to help you, okay? At least take the knowledge I've gained to help you as you get through it. I don't know everything. You can know what I know. Some things I may learn from you. That's all cool. That's what's called a community, all right? But I'm telling you, Something's got to give in all of this at some point, all right? For me, that point left a long time ago. So again, if you like the things I talk about on this channel, and this is the way I'm talking right now. It's the way I talk in most of my videos. Not this bombastic crap, but sometimes I get animated. Sometimes I get passionate. When I do it, I'm going to fight for you, okay? Some of you don't understand why I fight for you. Some of you get upset because you're fanboys out there, and I've touched on a nerve because I've said something negative against the company that you're sunk into. Hey, understand, I'm only pushing them to be better, to do better, okay? I don't want any company to go out of business. I just want them to do the right freaking thing by you and by me. I'm fighting for you whether you want me fighting for you or not. The minute I lose my passion to do that, that's the minute I'm done with this YouTube channel because I don't need it. I enjoy doing it, but I don't need it. I got a regular job. I got a regular income. If anything, this YouTube thing's a pain in my butt sometimes, all right? But I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to keep doing it as long as I feel like I'm helping you guys out. So again, if you like the things I talk about on this channel, hit that like button. Then hit that subscribe button and then go on over and hit that notification bell. If you wonder when I'm looking off camera, I got a little monitor over there. Uh, those are not just uh, cinematic, off looking, out into the distance, out into, wonder what Barry's thinking about today. Well, at least thinking about every one of you, I hope you have a nice day. But until then, go out and watch more of my videos. I think you may find them beneficial. All right. Bye bye. Hey, I'm on a ride, baby. I'm on a ride. Hey, I get motion sickness real easy. I can't even get a roller coaster. Gotta stop. Bye-bye.